Welcome back to Brick by Brick. I've been investing over $6,000 into LEGO and today I'm going to be going through uh, how I started doing that and some of the lessons I've learned along the way while investing in LEGO. So this right here is one of the sets that I started investing with. It wasn't exactly this one, but it was similar size. And it is set number 75295, the Millennium Falcon Microfighter. It's got 101 pieces. It's got the one minifigure, in this case, the little Han Solo figure. And I ended up investing in these mostly because they were cheaper and I didn't have a whole lot of money to get started with investing in LEGO. So I always started by just buying a couple of these smaller sets. And uh, they ended up doing pretty well. Um, many of the smaller LEGO Harry Potter or Star Wars sets generally end up being pretty great investments and that trend continued through thankfully and so I was able to sell them and make a pretty good profit. I also started investing in LEGO by purchasing a bunch of these LEGO Star Wars uh, battle packs. Again, not this one exactly. Uh, this one I purchased slightly more recently. Uh, but the LEGO Star Wars battle packs I did decide to invest in ended up being really great investments and I was able to recycle those profits back into my LEGO investing business and I was able to keep the um, keep earning more and more profit and it, this set has also been a great return on investment for me uh, the LEGO Star Wars Mandalorian battle pack has ended up doing pretty well for me and then I started getting up to investing in a slightly bigger mostly LEGO Star Wars sets kind of similar to this one like the Duel on Mustafar, set number 75269. It's got 208 pieces and has these two minifigures. Uh, in this case, Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan. And there's another view of the Anakin Skywalker figure. And these sets are kind of the best of both worlds because like the smaller LEGO Star Wars sets, they go up in value by a really good margin, but you also don't need to sell quite as many of them to earn a pretty good return on your investment. Um, just because they uh, have a higher uh, baseline price and they go up in value, um, meaning that you don't need to sell quite as many of them to make a really good return on your investment. I also started investing in branching out into other LEGO themes, and this one has stuck with me uh, to this day. It is the LEGO Harry Potter theme. This is set number 75950. It's got 157 pieces and has too many figures. This set and the, many of the other LEGO Harry Potter sets have ended up being really great investments for my collection. Uh, they've gone up in value by a good margin. I generally have most of my money invested into LEGO Star Wars sets, but LEGO Harry Potter is certainly um, a relatively close second in terms of the amount of uh, budget in terms of LEGO investing that I allocate towards different LEGO themes. Uh, this set has done really well. It has more than doubled in value from what I bought it for, and it's been a great return on investment for me. Next up, I started investing in two bigger sets like this, the Armored Assault Tank, the AT. This has four minifigures. It's got uh, two battle droids, uh, Ahsoka, and then Ahsoka's clone trooper figure right there. And these sets uh, have not, and as far as ROI wise, haven't gone up in value by as high of a margin as say um, one of these like, smaller LEGO Star Wars battle packs or something, but it's still been a pretty great return on investment for me. The clone trooper figure there has increased the value of the set by a really good margin, and there are, have been quite a few factors that helped make this set a really great return on investment for me. Next up, we got the Lego Star Wars Clone Trooper Helmet, or sorry, Stormtrooper Helmet set. It's got uh, 647 pieces. It's set number 75276. It's got it's an 18 plus set. Um, but this set has increased in value by a really good margin. It's probably it's the biggest of the one I've, ones I've shown today. Uh, and it's an example of a set that uh, even these, these bigger sets, like, well, I'd primarily invest in these smaller Lego Star Wars sets. Uh, these bigger ones also end up doing really well many, in many instances. And this one has followed through with that trend and has gone up in value. Uh, it's more than tripled in value and it's been a great return on investment for me. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe.